to subscribe! Today, Pate the Little Red Riding Hood needed to go on an errand. Take this pie to Grandma. Don't go wandering off. Yes, Mother. While Pete was walking through the forest, a wolf emerged out of the shadows. Hi, I'm Bororo. Where are you going? I'm Petty. I'm on my way to Grandma's house for an errand. Where is your grandmother's house? It's at the end of the forest. Hearing this, Bororo suggested something. There is a beautiful flower bed over there. How about picking some flowers for her? Really? Great! Feeling excited, Petty ran towards the flowers. While Petty was busy, Bororo rushed to Petty's grandmother's house. Grandma! I'm Petty! I'm here on an errand! Oh! My darling Becky! Oh no! The grandmother opened the door for the wolf! <laughs> I'm actually a hungry wolf! Roar! A few moments later, Petty arrived at the house with the flowers. Grandma, I'm here. Oh, my dear. Come closer. Petty thought her grandma looked strange, so she asked, Grandma, why are your ears so big? The better to hear you with, my dear. Then why are your arms so long? The harder to hug you with, my dear. Petty thought this person didn't feel like her grandmother. At that moment, she heard a familiar voice. Run away, Petty! Petty realized that it was actually the wolf standing in front of her. Petty was scared, but she had to save her grandmother. Then a good idea came to mind. Grandma, I baked you a pie. Thank you, dear. But as soon as Bororo ate the pie, his face turned red. Petty had secretly added hot peppers into the pie. Ah, water! Water! While Bororo rushed to find some water, Petty opened the cage and saved her grandmother. Did you think you'd get away with this? Being furious, Bororo stomped towards Petty. Luckily, Chrome the Huntsman was passing by and heard their scream. Bad wolf, don't move! Ah! Thanks to the Huntsman, the lion wolf was locked up in the cage. From then on, it was safe for Petty to go alone on her errands. Play the xylophone!
picture. Put on all the stickers. Find the hidden picture.
Scoot Doo forgot his way back home. Gather the alphabets and help him find his way home. Let's gather the alphabets and look for the house. Yeah. Dudu's house. Dudu jumped into the air because he was so happy. M P D E O G I X J. Hey. Pororo's band music is lousy. Become a conductor and help them play the music. Find friends who are making mistakes. <laughs> Guitar. Violin Trumpet Piano Xylophone Drum Guitar Violin Trumpet Piano Bravo! That was amazing! Listeners are cheering you on. Guitar. Violin. Trumpet. Piano. Xylophone. Drum. Guitar. Violin. Trumpet. Piano. Bororo and his friends are hungry. Catch the fish and help your friends. Oh, I'm hungry. Clam. Mm. 
muscle. Swell fish. Starfish. Seahorse. Tuna. Hair tail. Macro Whoa! Thanks to a whole lot of fish you caught, everyone had a very delicious meal. Clam Mussel Swellfish Starfish Seahorse Tuna Hair tail, squid, shrimp, mackerel. The rabbits are spoiling Rupee's carrot farm. Punish the rabbits. Hit the rabbits with the squeaky hammer. Sky blue. Pink Orange Navy Purple Yellow Green Blue Yellow Green Red Rabbits are all gone. Rupee made a delicious cake in return. Sky blue. Pink. Orange. Navy. Purple. Yellow. Green. Blue. Yellow, green, red. Bororo and Krong are hungry. Bake the cookies with Rupee. When the cookies are baked well, press them. Heart. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star <laughs> Yum Yum This Triangle. is delicious Yum Yum This is delicious <laughs> Square <laughs> Yum Yum This is delicious Circle. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Heart. 
Yum, yum! This is delicious! Square. Yum, yum! <laughs> this is delicious! Star. Yum, yum! This is delicious! <laughs> Triangle. Yum, yum! <laughs> this is delicious! Circle. Fororo and Krong are now full. Shall we try the cookies together? Heart. Star. Triangle. Square. Circle. Heart. Square. Star. Triangle. Circle. It was a lovely morning and everyone was out in the playground riding the seesaw. This is so fun! <laughs> Just then they saw Petty carrying something very heavy. <laughs> this is so heavy! <laughs> And Krong ran up to Petty to help her carry her things. Thanks for helping oh, yeah. me. Petty was feeling happy that her friends had helped her. So when Eddie was passing by, she gave him a flower pot. Wow, it's so pretty! <laughs> Looking at the flowers, it made Eddie feel happier too. Just then, Bororo came running huh? in panic. Oh, my toe is broken! <laughs> Eddie did his best to help fix Bororo's toy. You're the best, Eddie! <laughs> Bororo went back on his way feeling joyful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Poby was fishing and seemed to be in a pickle. Yeah. He said, I don't have anything that fits this big fish. It's too... Really? I'll help you out. Bororo quickly ran home and brought out the big container. Poby was feeling delighted as he put the fish in the container. But as he was walking home, Loopy was sighing about something. Oh. Uh? to cook something delicious, but I don't have any ingredients. To that, Poby replied, <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you this fish. Loopy was excited that she got the fish and cooked with it. <laughs> it seems like a lot to eat alone. Loopy ran out to the playground and shouted, Hey guys, let's go to my house! Soon everybody gathered at Loopy's house. Wow, this smells so good! It's so delicious! All the friends were happy that they got to eat a delicious meal. Today was such a happy day! Taisu brought his new robot toy to Bororo's house. He wanted to show off his new toy to his friends. Wow, this is so cool! <laughs> Can I have a turn playing with it? Krong! <laughs> Bororo and Krong envied his robot. But Taisu was worried his friends would break his toy. So he played with it alone. Oh, you're so mean! <laughs> <laughs> Fine! Krong, let's just go out to the playground. Krong, Krong. 
The boys were angry and went off to the playground. Taisu was left alone to play with his robot. But strangely, it wasn't fun at all. That night, after Taisu went back home, he felt regretful about Bororo and Krong. He knew his friends were much more important than a toy. The next morning, Taisu opened his box of special toys. Inside the box were all of his favorite toys. Later on, Taisu went back to Pororo's house. Did you want to show off your toys again? <laughs> Taisu gave the toy box to his friends. And of course, his new robot was in too. <laughs> really? Can we really play with these? This is great! <laughs> Bororo and Krong were very excited and picked up the toy. Wow, look at this! <laughs> oh, it moves! Taisu felt happy seeing how happy his friends were. After a while, Bororo said thank you to... Taisu, I'll let you borrow my special toy too! Krong! Bororo gave Taisu his favorite airplane, and Krong gave Taisu his cool toy car. Because they shared their toys with each other, everybody had a great time having fun. Yeah!